Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Elden Ring Weapon Showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Hand of Melania. A dexterity focused katana, so our stats are going to reflect that. We do have 80 dexterity, netting us a damage output of 643 with the Hand of Melania. We have the minimum strength needed to one hand the katana, and then the rest of our points are poured into vigor, so we do have 62 vigor. We don't need any endurance whatsoever because the armor set for the cosplay, the talismans that I plan to use, and the weapon themselves are extremely light, so I didn't need to pour any points into my endurance. We do have the Shard of Alexander to boost the Ash of War of the Hand of Melania. We have the Rotten Wing Sword Insignia because I will be attacking quite a lot with the katana, and it does boost our AR pretty significantly when we get these successive attacks off. We can also swap to the Swaddling Cloth to regen our HP off successive attacks as it is kind of in line with the cosplay that we're going for for today. So I might swap between those in the battles. And then we have the Crimson Amber Medallion and the Urchie Saver for both the Health, Endurance, and Equip Load Boost. Now taking a look at the moveset of the Hand of Melania. It is very similar to all other katanas. So its light attack chain is the Diagonal Slashes. The heavy attack is the Overhead Slash followed by the Underswing Slash. The running light, the running diagonal slash, and the running heavy is the thrust attack. I tend to use the running heavy quite a lot on katanas, as it does do a little more poise damage than the light attack variants. And it has a really good range on the thrust attack, so I'll do that, maybe go into the reverse back step to try to roll catch them. The jumping attack on katanas is also very useful. I find it's easy to roll catch, especially if you're doing the running jump attack with the running light. You'll get a roll catch off as they'll panic roll, and you'll hit them with the swing. The running heavy... I don't use too much. I feel like it's a little bit easier to dodge because it's just like an overhead swing, but this one seems to have a lot of range on it. So I go for the jumping lights quite a lot. The crouch attack and the rolling attack are also useful as well. Maybe jumping at an opponent and trying to make them panic roll, you can go for the crouch to get their roll catch. As for the Ash of War, the Waterfowl Dance, the beginning of it is very slow. It has a very slow wind-up before doing the entire combo. Now, there are three different parts to that Ash of War, so you can choose to stop it at whichever point you like. What I tend to do is maybe try to go for the Running Heavy to stun them, to be right in their face to start the Waterfowl Dance. And then I'll go for the first one, wait to see if it connects to follow it up. If the first one doesn't connect, then you're kind of left a little bit vulnerable, so I do dodge out of it as fast as I can if it does miss. If it happens to land and you're really close range, you might be able to pull off the second and third parts depending on the area you're using it in. But yeah, I guess that's all I really have to say about the weapon. Let's just see how it performs in the duels. Alright, moving on to our first opponent. We have Oni Ops. Hello there, man. Oh, uh, I actually don't know what's in my flask this time, but what we're about to find out. He's going buff mode, whatever he's doing. I'm joining, got some buffs. I am Melania. You see? Melania. <laughs> Roll through. Roll through. Roll away. <laughs> Roll away. It's bullet hell. <laughs> Alright, I'm coming in, Oni. Is this how you fought Melania? Whee! Okay. Well, we're, we're starting off slow here. We haven't been able to attack. <laughs> you think he'll stop doing that eventually? Since I can just strafe it? No? Whee! Okay. There you go. Now I can be a Melania. Blade of Mikula. And I've only known the feat. <laughs> that was a good trade for him. Uh... Take my lightning urn. Do that one more time, I swear. I'll keep throwing these at you. Why? <laughs> Why are we doing this? Oni, what the heck? Very fun fight. But why did you only use the Ash of War? <laughs> Moving on to our next battle, we have John. Hello, John. Give you a nice bow. Hope you enjoy my cosplay. I'm going to eat boiled crab though because my defenses are quite low. <laughs> okay, that should help it. So he's got two bloodhound fangs. Kinda terrifying. Um, we gotta land the waterfowl dance at some point, but against this, that could be terrifying. Trade! <laughs> Get in there. Get aggressive. There we go. We got our attack damage boost because we've been aggressive. Now, how do I trade with the Waterfowl Dance? <laughs> Let's go, here we go. Oh, we landed it! No way. Very fun fight. That did immense damage. That was like 900 just from the start of the Ash of War. Wow. 
All right, moving on to our next battle. We have Holy Magoli, maybe? Hello there. He's taking in my cosplay. Give him a bow. Get my defenses up there. All right, I'm ready. So I don't know what sword that is yet until I get closer. It is, oh, it's that, that faith sword. I always forget the name of it. The one with the interesting Ash of War. Hello there. Poke. Hey, he's got the rocks. <laughs> Every faith build I feel like has the rocks. Okay, we didn't hit there. It's a little disturbing. And then he does the wave sword. Oh, he didn't do the wave sword. He just did the, the explosive attack. Try and get the roll catch here. I am <laughs> Malay. <laughs> come back here. Come here. All right, you're, you're going to get hit by that at some point in this fight. It's going to happen. It is tradition. <laughs> right now. <laughs> no, I'm out of stamina. <laughs> I'm still out of stamina. <laughs> Oh god, okay. I realized that I have the lowest stamina out of any build I've ever had. <laughs> Aha! You're in range? Oh, holy magoli. <laughs> Explosion. <laughs> Too bad that doesn't buff the sword, honestly. I feel like it deserves to. Definitely deserves to buff the sword. Oh, it's the claws. We dodged the claws. We dodged the claws. You're gonna have to hit me with that sword, buddy. Oh, I've, I've been buffed. Aha. Uh -huh. Jumping attack. Running attack. <laughs> Get back here, holy. It's time for you to face the long katana. Crouch. Yes. <laughs> In to quit out. <laughs> okay. Very fun fight, man. Very fun. Moving on to our next opponent, we have Vanir. Hello there. Hey. Oh, God. The star scourge swords. That... Could be interesting if you, they pull me in when I'm trying to do the Ash of War. Yes. High defenses. Boss fight. That, I feel like that might take me out. I'm squishy. <laughs> oh no. Explosion. How, like the radius on that always confuses me. So like, I play it very safe when fighting that. Since it's confusing. Oh. <laughs> Ah, nice! We actually landed a part of that. I probably should have followed it up, because I haven't followed it up yet, but... My stamina amounts, I need to be very careful about. If I'm out of stamina after they do an attack, I'm kind of done for. One-handed. Oh, it gets the crouch poke one-handed. Oh, that's cool. Didn't know that. I'm gonna follow it up. <laughs> nice! Very fun fight, Banner. Very awesome. There's three parts to that. I really wonder how much stamina it takes if I did the whole thing. All my stamina. Noted. <laughs> Moving on to our next opponent, we have Skull Crow. Hello there, man. Hey! Hello. Are you ready to face Millennia again? Give him a nice bow. <laughs> uh, I'm going to eat my crab. What kind of buff you got going on there? Is that a lightning buff? Oh no, it's raining. <laughs> this could prove to be very damaging. I must avoid. Okay, so he does have Storm Stomp into R2. It's kind of what I thought would be on a Claymore when I see it. It is one of the best options, so to be fair, makes sense. So I got to be careful not to trade into it at the very least. Maybe I should go from neutral R1s more. Because running attacks will kind of trade into that. So. Hmm, let's see. Being very patient. A nice R1. This is this is the time in the boss fight where Melania spaces you, you know? She just like walks there. And then the waterfowl dance will appear out of nowhere. Ho oh, ho ho! I almost traded right into that. The unlock on saved my life right there. Oh, he's got multiple Baymores. Actually, hold up. How is... I've, I've wondered this because I faced it in the past. How is it that it's still buffed with the fire? But it's the Claymore that has Storm Stomp now. Does changing the, the weapon model maybe not do that? Skullcrow, where are you going? Why are we going out here? This is kind of an interesting spot. <laughs> what? <laughs> Weird. Uh, okay. 
<laughs> I've, that's a first. I've never seen someone do this, and all of the showcases are duels. <laughs> Moving on to the next battle. Hello there, Steel Dash. Hello. Oh, we're buffing up with a drink. Oh, I still haven't changed mine to be the Dex one, but that's fine. No big deal. We're going full Melania cosplay here. Actually, what? Oh, yeah, I, I still do have the successive attack grants me AR boost. Ow! Whoa, that was faster than the last one I found. <laughs> but it wasn't really a chain cast, it seems. <laughs> Rock throw is the bane of my existence, I will say. Oh, they dodged that somehow. My katana swing right by, went right by their face. A trade. Not at all beneficial here. Heavy roll. That combo? That comboed. Very cool. I had no idea that was a combo. Very awesome, man. So crouch poke combos into cast or catch flame, I guess. What? Hang on. Is our connection weird right now? Okay. No. Maybe? Well, it couldn't have been packet loss. Could it have? That would have been very strange. Hang on, I'm kind of waiting to see if this connection, like, stabilizes at all. Can't tell. Very fun fight, Steel Dash. That was very weird. I don't know, my Lightning Urn, like, hit him entirely on his body, but then do damage. Very fun fight, man. <laughs> Moving on to our next battle, we have Amunet. Hello there, Amunet. Hello. Nice. Nice little bow to each other. Eat my boiled crab. Whoa. You should probably do the same. You don't look like you have much armor. There we go. That'll at least make the fight last a little bit longer. Oh, the range on that. Every time I land the running R2, I really want to use the Ash of War, but it's, it's dangerous. All right. Waterfowl. Oh, a master of dodging the Melania arts, I see. <laughs> very cool, very cool. When we miss each other. Okay, spinning slash is definitely one of the go-to things to use on the uh, the twin blade, so we gotta gotta space them out here a little bit. My frostbite is going down, so it would pay for them to be a little bit more aggressive. Oh, I got my damage boost from that. Melania arts. No, <laughs> no, you weren't supposed to dodge that. No. Oh, the damage. <laughs> Well, at least now I can't get frostbitten again, but I do have lower defenses like this, so I kind of want to re-eat my crab. Jumping attack. Oh, very fun fight, Amunet. By the way, I'm just looking at my health bar. That was one combo where I got frostbitten. <laughs> Terrifying when your armor defenses are so low. Moving on to our final opponent, and it's Holy Magoli round two. Let's go. I don't find many opponents a second time in the random name pool. All right, I'm going to eat my crab. What was your build again? You had the Faith Greatsword. Yes. All right, Holy. Random Melania start. Bad start, Chase. <laughs> I really want to land that full thing. I forget if we actually landed it on Holy here. Don't remember. Because we don't have the poise to tank the greatsword. Does he have the poise to tank the katana? Doesn't seem like it. And now we have the boosted AR here, which is very good. Gotta get close to him. A lot of people like to space very far away. Oh, I think that it runs. Oh, we got the hit there. I'm gonna stamina. <laughs> oh, it came back last second. Nice. I saw that. I was being a little bit too aggressive with my stamina pool. This is like a minimalist stamina right here. Rock throw. <laughs> Would that knock me out of my Melania attack? That's the real question. I think it might. Hard to say though. Oh, good, good dodge, honestly. Very good dodge. Maybe I'll just unlock on hits. All right, so two more hits probably. What about the running light? It's got kind of like a bigger hitbox. Jumping attack. Yeah, no one expects that jumping attack. It has really, really far range. Blade of Melania. I'm going this way so he can't punish it. <laughs> he was prepared for that. Jumping light. Follow up. Alright, we will finish him with the blade. 
Crouch. What? Yeah, the crouch works really well because they go to dodge the rolling attack, but instead you did the crouch, so they dodge the cr like the initial crouch movement, and then you get the follow up. Very fun fight though, holy magoli. All right, now we'll go attempt this in invasions and see how it goes. All right, jumping right into our first invasion. Whoa, interesting spawn point. And we're invading Castle Soul as per usual. It's just such a fast invasion at this soul level. Well, rune level. Excuse me. I think they might be in there. Hello? Hello? I've never fought in here. Do you have summons? This could be a great ambush. Oh, Moon Veil! <laughs> no summons, but a Moon Veil. Oh, no, I fell. I wanted to fight in there, man. Damn it. That could have been such a cool fighting area. Although, you know what? Fighting in the open snow here. Pretty awesome. Good visibility. It looks pretty epic. Katana wielder versus katana wielder. <laughs> He's got Moonveil. I've got Hand of Melania. I'm not sure whose is more powerful, honestly. His Ash of War definitely is easier to hit. So, there's that. We'll try ours, though. Oh, we didn't get any of the swings off. Damn, I thought we'd clip them through the roll. Um, okay, let's just get our buff flask going. So if we do end up landing a hit, it'll be very powerful. I wonder if it can actually potentially one combo. Oh, what? We... <laughs> oh, he went directly under us. Unfortunate. Okay. Doesn't have a lot of health, though. We're gonna just apply pressure so maybe we can punish the uh, drink with the Ash of War. No, I didn't want that backstab. Damn it. Poke. <laughs> We're aggressive. We are Melania. When you're low health, we know it. Very fun fight, man. Good katana battle. Didn't land our Ash for sadly. Moving on to our second invasion. I kind of hope we find a team. Oh, it's the same host. No. Okay, we'll fight him, I guess. But I'll probably do an extra invasion. I guess I suppose he has to be Taunter's Tongue. Oh, he's got a teammate. Hello. Oh, shield poke. That'll be fun. Okay. Melania! <laughs> I ran out of stamina! <laughs> okay, we can probably uh, get the health regen one going just to be more cosplay-ish. We can get some health regen off the shield pokes, maybe. Backstab! Oh, I was really hoping we could pull that off. We couldn't, sadly, though. Okay, we'll get the buff flask going. This won't be able to easily deal with shield poke. I can already tell. Oh, that was sad. I wanted to try and backstab it. Whoop. Spectral Lance. Oh, I dodged it, but it didn't... Like, it stunned me, but it didn't hurt me. So he has no FP. If we can't stamina damage him, then we can't really break through the guard of the shield. So we're going to have to lure him into some enemies to distract him. Especially since there's a wizard around. Seems like he knows it. He's getting aggressive with me. That's good. That's good. We dodge. Oh, well, that makes me want to use one of my Estus. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to deal with this guy. Stop it. That's like the most annoying team attack I've seen. <laughs> Well, shield dude, if you don't get over here real quick, you're going to die. <laughs> He's transferred to wanting me. <laughs> you can take the host, and I think it this. I can take the shield guy. I can dodge him well at the very least. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to dodge that guy. Alright, very fun fight, boys. Shield poke still as broken as ever. <laughs> Unless I have the ability to swap to a different weapon. I can't really deal with it. Very fun fight though.
All right, those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today with the Hand of Melania. I hope everyone enjoyed the showcase. Once again, there's my stats on the right, the armor that I wore, the talismans that I utilized throughout the showcase, and of course, keep throwing your weapon recommendations below. I really do appreciate it. It's been a great time showcasing each of them. For some of them, I might start to do a cosplay of the actual wielder of the weapon, like uh, the Hand of Melania here. I feel like it was more fun this way. But yeah, thank you guys for watching the series and enjoying it. Until next time, this is goodbye. I will see you. Goodbye. Goodbye.